Welcome. My name is Michael Gilman. I am Assistant Scoutmaster of Troop 18, and I'd like to welcome you to this Eagle Scout Court of Honor. Will everybody please stand? The Color Guard hosts the colors. And now, Josh's cousin, Rachel Lau, will sing the national anthem. All those in uniform salute, all others hand over heart. Jose, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight? Twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the it's red glare, the bombs bursting in there, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled bear For the land of the free and the home of the brave. Our senior patrol leader will now lead the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God. Invisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two. Oh, Rachel, you're hiding. <laughs> At this time, I would like Pastor Ranjan Sherry, and I hope I pronounced your name correctly, to please come forward to offer the invocation. Father, we thank you for this wonderful moment that you are given in our lives to come together for the Eagle Call of Honor ceremony, to recognize our dear Joshua Abraham, who have attained a highest rank in scouting. You have been with him all through his past years. You have been molding him and you will be making him according to your plan and your will. We are extremely grateful for building his character and making him a role model to other scouts as well as everyone who can be touched with him. We pray that you may help him to do his duty to this nation, help people who are in need, as well as to be an inspiration to him. Lord, today we exalt your holy name. We pray that you may lead us and guide us all to this program. We ask your blessings on Joshua, his family, the scout leaders, the families and friends who are here with us today. We pray that you may bless this celebration as we rejoice with Joshua. May this ceremony inspire many to follow this path to be a blessing to this nation. Thank you for hearing our prayers. We ask all this in the master's name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. I'd like to make a few introductions. We have some guests. I'd like to introduce Robert Yerkog and Lindy Gaynor. 
from like uh, with legislative aides from Philadelphia City Councilman Brian O'Neill's office. Also, Matt Darrow, Communications Director for Pennsylvania State Senator Jimmy Dillon. We have Marine Corporal Vindu Joseph, retired. And also Jason Daniel, one of Josh's teacher, I'm not sure who you are. Uh, by the power invested in me, in me by the National Council of the Boy Scouts of America, I hereby declare this Eagle Court of Honor open. Webster's Dictionary describes an eagle as a large bird of prey with sharp vision and powerful wings, famous for their strength, size, grace, and keen vision. It is a national emblem for the United States. Though the eagle is found throughout the world, it is never found in abundance. It is always rare. It is always a superb specimen. In scouting, the eagle stands for strength of character and for knowledge of all phases of scouting. The eagle represents an understanding of community and nation and a deep respect for the same. The eagle is a symbol of what a young man or young woman has done and what they will do and what they will be when they grow to adulthood. The eagle is a leader. The eagle is respected both by peers and by adult leaders. Not every scout qualifies for the high rank of eagle. Only about 2% of all scouts reach eagle and it is a great achievement for all the parties involved, the scout, the family, community, unit, and the Boy Scouts of America. When a youth enters scouting, in the three parts of the scout oath, he or she promises upon their honor to do their best, to do their duty, first, to God and country, second, to other people by helping them at all times, and third, to him or herself by keeping physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. Likewise, the scout law in the, in the scout law, they promise to obey is put into effect as the occasion may demand. The scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Each is an important foundation stone in the building of strong character. Eagle Scouts are those who have taken the scout oath and law to which they have promised and emb embodied them, within, which has as its aim and purpose character building, and citizenship training. I believe it to be a movement that helps scouts become the master of their own powers, helps them to get along with other people, and helps them find a worthy use for their powers. I therefore believe it is my duty to do my best to obey the scout oath and law. I hereby renew my faith in scouting and promise to do what I can in service to other scouts who have not come this far along the Eagle Trail. Now, before you can take this pledge, you will be required to accept a charge which every eagle must learn to face and achieve. At this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Joshua Tuckum Taylor, Troop 18 alumnus, and Eagle Scout, who will administer the Eagle Charge. Josh, as an Eagle Scout candidate, you must understand that being an eagle is a responsibility as well as an honor. Are you prepared to accept these challenges responsibility, which I'm now going to give you? I do. The first responsibility of an Eagle Scout is to live with honor, which to an Eagle is sacred. Honor is the foundation of character. Character is what an adult really is inside, not what someone may think he or she is. An Eagle will live so as to reflect credit on their home, church, school, friends, and upon scouting and upon themselves. Will the white of your eagle badge always remind you to live with honor? I do. The second obligation of an eagle scout is loyalty. Without loyalty, all character lacks direction. Eagle scouts are loyal to their ideals. Will the blue of your eagle badge remind you to always be loyal to whomever that loyalty may be due. I do. The third obligation of an Eagle Scout is courage. Courage gives all character force and strength. Trusting in God 
and with the faith of your fellow man, you, as an Eagle Scout, will face each day unafraid and seek your share of the world's work to do. Will the red of your Eagle Badge always remind you to have courage? I will. The final obligation of an Eagle Scout is to live a life of service. The Eagle extends a helping hand to those who toil up the scouting trail he or she has completed, just as others helped you in achieving the Eagle rank. The habit of the daily good turn must take on new meaning and blossom forth into a life of service. The Eagle protects and defends the weak and helpless, aiding and comforting the oppressed and unfortunate. The Eagle upholds the rights of others while defending his or her own. Your code of honor is based upon the belief that real leadership must be founded upon real service. I will now ask you to make the scout sign to signify your agreement to live a life of service and promise. I will. Thank you, Mr. Tuckamtala. At this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Kyle Connor, troop alumnus and Eagle Scout, and who was actually our previous Eagle Scout a few months ago, who will administer the Eagle Pledge. You have given a sign that you are ready and willing to accept these responsibilities and to adopt the Eagle Pledge, which was read to you at the beginning of this ceremony. If you are still willing, please make the Scout sign and repeat after me. I, state your name. I, Joshua Abraham. Believe in the Boy Scouts of America as a movement. Believe in the Boy Scouts of America as a movement. Which has its aim and purpose, character building and citizenship training. Which has its aim and purpose, character, bu character building and training. I believe it to be a movement that helps the Scouts become the master of their own powers. I believe it to be a movement that helps the Scouts become a master of their own powers. Helps them to get along with other people. Helps them to get along with other people. <coughs> and helps them to find a worthy use of their, of their powers. And helps them to find a worthy use of their powers. I therefore believe it is my duty to do my best to obey the Scout, lo to obey the scout Oath and Law. I therefore believe it is my duty to obey the Scout Oath and Law. I hereby renew my faith in scouting and promise to do what I can in service to other scouts who have not come this far along the Eagle Trail. I hereby renew my faith. Hereby renew my faith. In scouting and promise to do what I can in service. Scouting and promise to do what I can in service. To other scouts who have not come this far along the Eagle Trail. To other scouts who have not come this far on the Eagle Trail. Thank you, Mr. Connor. At this time, I would like to ask the family of the new Eagle Scout to come forward with Josh. Okay. And I would like to ask Josh's mother to pin the Eagle Medal on her son, hopefully without drawing blood. Now, I would like to ask Josh to pin the mother pin on his mom as a token of thanks. Now, the Eagle Scouts brothers will present the Eagle neckerchief and slide to the new Eagle. And you will notice as we do this that the new neckerchief is being placed over the current neckerchief 
before the troop neckerchief is removed. This is to signify the continuity of Josh's scouting career. First, put the new one on. And then slide the old one off underneath. Now I would like to ask Josh's dad to present the eagle patch to his son and for Josh to present the eagle dad tie tack to his father. Congratulations, Josh. You don't have to, just, just hand it, Josh, just hand it to him. Okay, thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce the Scoutmaster of our boy unit, Susanna Hamza. After successfully completing an Eagle Scout Board of Review and being validated as an Eagle Scout by the National Service Center, a scout is entitled to receive an Eagle Palm for each additional five merit badges completed before the Eagle Board of Review beyond the 21 required for Eagle. As you heard earlier, Josh earned 34 merit badges during his scouting career. Josh, I'm honored to present to you the Bronze Eagle Palm and the Gold Eagle Palm for the amazing accomplishments of earning 10 more badges than you needed for the Eagle rank. Also, the troop. I guess one at a time. <laughs> well, the, these are the palms. I know I'm a little bit shorter, but I have a lot of voice and I can project. So if somebody can't hear me over there, let me know. Um, and like I said, the troop would also like to present to you with a commemorative eagle plaque to celebrate your time and accomplishments in Troop 18. Congratulations. Thank it you. has been an honor to see you uh, since a young boy and see you growing up um, and achieving all these accomplishments. Thank you. Congratulations. Josh. Thank you, Scoutmaster Hamza. Now we have some other presentations, and I would like to call up Robert Yurkop, legislative aide for Fiddy Philadelphia City Councilman Brian O'Neill. Thank you very much. Um, as many of you probably realize by now, I'm not Councilman Brian O'Neill. Uh, my name is Bobby. I, I work for Brian, and I've had the pleasure of working for Councilman O'Neill since I was a sophomore in college. So I've seen him do quite a few of these over the years, so I think we should be in pretty good shape. 
Uh, first, I just want to start off by saying thank you for having me here today, and uh, congratulations to Josh on this incredible achievement. It really is something special. You know, you heard Michael talk about at the beginning the number of scouts who actually make it through this process, right? Less than 2%. I think when you hear that number, it's really staggering. And I think it makes it all that more impressive, the fact that Josh was able to stick to it and stick it through all this time and all the effort he's put into it along the way. I think it really speaks volumes about um, his character and his commitment to service and to the community. As we've heard the program today and you know during the scout oath that Josh took before all of us here gathered in this room, you know, he talks about citizenship and service to others. And I think ultimately that's really what this all boils down to, service to others, whether it's service to his fellow troops and the example that Josh is setting here for all of us or service to his friends and family or really service to the community at large. You know, I looked at Josh's service project and I thought how, impressed, how impressive it was, right? I mean, the amount of time and dedication that he put into this, putting the plan together, going to the store to purchase the materials, and then ultimately the labor that was involved with actually getting out there and doing the work of restoring the hockey courts at Fox Chase Recreation Center that so many people will now get to enjoy and play on because of all of Josh's hard work. So I think he's really setting a great example um, and I think it's even more important, I think, in today's society and culture where it's easy, you know, we've all got our heads in our phones and, you know, it's easy to kind of just put yourself first and only be concerned about what we're doing or what we're thinking. And I think Josh is really setting a great example, not just for the other members of his troop, but for his friends in school and our a whole neighborhood uh, in Northeast Philadelphia all together because I think we could all be a little bit better off if we took a page out of Josh's book and said, you know, what is one small thing? It doesn't have to be big. You know, we don't have to all uh, sign up for Eagle Scouts or renovate a hockey court, but what is one small thing, you know, every day that we can kind of do for other people? And I think it's a great example to set. Um, and I thank you, Josh, and I just want to congratulate you on the behalf of the city of Philadelphia. And we just have a small token of our appreciation um, to give to you here today, but I just wanted to say uh, congratulations. Thank you, Bobby. I just want to say, Councilman O'Neill has been a very, very good friend, not only of the city of Philadelphia, but of Troop 18 in particular. And he always makes an effort, anytime we have an eagle, you know, he has one of these presented to us, and we're appreciative of it. I'd now like to ask Matt Dara, Communications Director of Pennsylvania State Senator, Jimmy Dillon, to come up. Thank you, everyone. Uh, I just want to echo some of the things that my colleague Bobby said. Josh, this is an amazing accomplishment. You and your family must be very proud. And I, I say family, of course, because we know in life nothing is accomplished without the help of family, friends, your fellow scouts, and the community around you. But one of the things that struck me when I was looking over your service record, and I, I mentioned it when I spoke to your father, I had the pleasure to meet your father a couple minutes ago, is that the sky is the limit for you. That's something that your dad is very well aware of, I'm sure, already. But when I look, you know, Senator Dillon got elected just about a year ago. And in that time, you know, you hear a lot about the problems in our communities. And that's a good thing. That's the job of a local elected official, to hear those concerns and, and try to act on them. But there's a lot of folks that like to talk about the problems in our neighborhoods, in our city, in our state, in our world. And there's a lot fewer folks that are willing to step forward and try to do the work of actually making things a little better. And so when I see you, such a young man, with such dedication, with such passion, with such diligence and focus to actually achieve the, the rank of Eagle, I see a young man who can achieve anything he sets his mind to and who's going to do a lot of good for our community in whatever you set out to do for the rest of your life. So on behalf of Senator Dillon, we have a citation to present to you. And thank you for your service to this neighborhood. And please, all the best in your, in your, in your future endeavors. Thank you very, very much. Good luck to you. Good luck. Thank you, Matt. I would now like to ask Marine Corporal Vinu Joseph, retired, to come up, say a few words. All right. <clears throat> 
Dear scouts, families, and honored guests, it is an honor to be here today to address uh, Joshua Abraham and his accomplishments in the Boy Scouts. My name is Vinu Joseph. I'm part of Josh's adopted family, as well as a former United States Marine and Iraqi war veteran. The earliest memories I have of Josh when he was a tiny tater tot, he came to his uncle's house. And uh, as he was leaving, he had a big plastic bag with him. And I said, Josh, what is in that plastic bag? You came here empty handed, but you're leaving with the big plastic bag. And to my astonishment, it was cans of Coke. He had stolen Coke from his uncle's house. I said, Josh, why are you stealing Coke from your uncle's house? And he said, because my parents refused to give me any kind of sugar or Coke. So he hasn't had Coke for a while, so he decided to steal cans of Coke. And at that moment, I thought, this kid's going to be a thief or a house burglar. <laughs> but to us, my astonishment, almost 10 to 11 years later, I'm standing here giving his speech on a great accomplishment. Can we all give him a big round of applause? As a former United States Marine and Iraqi war veteran, it is, it is, I knew firsthand the importance of courage, commitment, and dedication. For Josh and his fellow Boy Scouts, scouting is where they learned and identified these important values. It is where they learned to work together as a team to overcome challenges and to always do your best. Joshua Abraham, as you stand here today, having achieved one of the highest rank in scouting, you are a shining example of what it means to be embody these values. You have demonstrated the courage to take on difficult challenges, the commitment to see them through to the end, and the dedication to always strive for excellence. But Josh, your journey as a scout does not end here. As you move forward into the next chapter of your life, I urge you to continue to live by the values you have learned through scouting. Whether you choose to pursue a career in the military like I did, or whatever you do in your life, remember the importance of courage, commitment, and dedication. Be courageous in the face of adversity. Stand up for what is right when it is difficult. Be committed to your goals and aspirations. Never give up on your dreams, no matter how daunting it may seem. And be dedicated to always strive for excellence. Never settle for mediocrity, but always push yourself to be the best you can. As you move forward, Remember that you are not alone. You are part of a larger community of scouts, all of whom have shared in the same journey that you have and continue to seek out opportunities to work together, to learn from each other, and to make a positive impact on the world around you and your local community. And never forget the values that you have learned through scouting, which will help serve you well, not just in your future careers, but in the all aspects of your life. Congratulations, Josh. This is a tremendous achievement. I am honored to stand before you Today, not only as your family, but a former United States Marine and Iraqi war veteran, and I know that you will continue to make us proud in all that you do. Thank you, and may God bless you. <laughs> Josh, everybody's giving you a present, so I got something for you. <laughs> may you never steal another man's Coke. Thank you. Thank you, Corporal Joseph, and thank you for your service. <laughs> I would now like to call up one of Josh's teachers, Jason Daniel, who would like to say a few words. Thank you for the opportunity to speak here. I think I have a unique perspective on Josh because I see him uh, five days a week in my chemistry class at Mass Community Charter School. Uh, I see him on weekends on s every Sunday and often on Saturdays as well at Ebenezer Church of God. So I see him quite often. I see uh, him in many different situations. And I can definitely say that Josh is somebody of character, somebody that um, everybody looks up to and respects. Um, when I looked at the uh, list of badges that you had earned, Josh, uh, one thing I noticed was that it's it's not one-dimensional at all. It's, it's, it's a really a variety of different skills. Some of them are artistic, like sculpture. Some are more like scientific. Some are more relating to family. Some are more relating to citizenship uh, and your society. And so uh, that's exactly the type of, I mean, I didn't know a lot about Eagle Scout before I came here, but I would imagine that it uh, requires not just one type of skill, 
but skills in many different areas, many different types of skills. And that's, that's what I think of when I think of you. Um, uh, at, at Mass Community Charter School, uh, Josh walks the hall and, you know, everybody uh, respects him. Everybody, he gets along with everybody. He's always responsible. I can always count on him to have his work done. He works well with uh, his lab groups. Um, and as, as I think about Josh, I think of uh, a character in the Bible uh, who uh, is uh, actually uh, King David. Um, King David was somebody who uh, was multifaceted. Some Bible characters that we read about are just, oh, Samson, all we think about is, oh, he was very strong. Or, um, but, but David, he uh, was very capable as a shepherd. He took care of his sheep. He knew how to defend them against wild animals. He knew how to play instruments. He knew uh, how to be a leader. Uh, he knew how to, uh, and he also loved to worship God. So there was just so many different things about David's character that uh, we can look to as exemplary. And so, Josh, that's what I see in you. Um, I forgot to mention, I don't know how many of you know that Josh is a Community College of Philadelphia student, even as he is a Mass Charter uh, School high school student. Um, so he balances so many different responsibilities, um, and he does all of them very well. Uh, and so we are so proud of you, Josh, and we know that there's a lot of great things ahead of you. And so we look forward to seeing how uh, you are useful to your family, to your society, and to the entire country um, in the days to come. So on behalf of Mass Community Charter School and also on behalf of Ebenezer Church of God, just want to congratulate you on becoming Eagle Scout. Awesome job. Thank you, Mr. Daniel. And at this point, I'd like to uh, ask Assistant Scoutmaster Bill Letts to come up to say a few words. All right. Good evening, folks. Um, it's always a tremendous privilege and pleasure to be a part of, the, of an Eagle Scout uh, uh, Court of Honor. And uh, this one particularly, though, is, is pretty precious to me and a great honor because I've been able to be there over the six or so years uh, that uh, Josh has been going down this path to, uh, to achieving his eagle. And I know it's not the journey's end, and uh, in many ways it's just, just the beginning of a lifetime of service and achievement for you. So first off with that. So how would I describe Josh to someone who didn't know him as well as maybe the rest of us do? Well, I think the descriptor that, descriptor that I would give to Josh is that he's unassuming and unpretentious. Now what that means is the Oxford Dictionary describes that as being someone who is not attempting to impress others with an appearance of greater importance talent or culture than is actually possessed. And that's certainly true for Josh. I mean, just take an example. Um, he certainly doesn't brag about his achievements to others. And we know he just uh, received his high school diploma. But I'm not sure how many of you know it, because I didn't know it until about a week ago, that during that same period of time, he also uh, got his um, I guess it's the associate degree, right, from the uh, Community College of Philadelphia. So that's just an example of Josh really just not tooting his own horn, essentially. And I think we all appreciate that in him. Now, kind of along with that, though, that unassuming personality, sometimes I think you're underestimated as to what your capability is. But certainly in scouting, we didn't underestimate Josh. Uh, all along the way from every position that we gave Josh, starting with assistant patrol leader, patrol leader, assistant uh, senior patrol leader, and senior patrol leader, he took all those opportunities and far excelled in anything that we, we could imagine. And in fact, kind of the most important thing, I think, during Josh, your ten tenure with the troop is as you know, we just came through COVID and you were there 
uh, through COVID with the troop. Josh not only held the troop together, but the troop actually grew, which is just amazing. Um, I know so many other scout leaders have talked to me about them having to fold their, their troop because they just couldn't hold it together. But Josh, again, it was you that really kept the troop going. You kept them interested. You had great Zoom meetings, Skype meetings. Uh, we actually had some in-person meetings where we socially distanced, uh, masked, but at least we were outside. So again, that was all due to the planning of Josh. So again, thank you very, very much, Josh, for that. So the next point is you heard Mike kind of relate the scout law, the various points of the scout law. Now certainly it's not, it's assumed and it's true that that Josh follows and adheres to all of the scout laws uh, as an, any eagle would. But I kind of, we usually sometimes with the scouts will, during a board review, for example, will ask a scout to pick one of those and describe in their own words what's that, what that means to them. So I'm gonna choose one of those scout laws that I think best uh, exemplifies Josh, and that is kind. Now I know you're probably, Josh, you're sitting there thinking, why couldn't you have chosen something a little more manly like bravery or some, something like that, but I think being kind really in the end takes tremendous bravery as a matter of fact. And I think in the end, Josh has a very kind soul, and I think I certainly and others who have interacted with him can appreciate that as well. So in closing then, um, so what do we all get out of this uh, court of honor, uh, Scout uh, Court of Honor? Josh, you certainly get the recognition for all the years of hard work that you've put into this and, and the future benefits that are to come yet. Uh, Josh's parents, you all get the pride of being able to see what Josh has accomplished through your efforts in many, many cases. So again, you're, that's what you get out of this. So what do the rest of us get out of, of an Eagle Court of Honor? Well, in this, thing, in this case particularly, I think we end up getting a kinder world, which I think is so important right now. So Josh, thank you very much for giving us a kind wor uh, world to live by. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. At this time, various members of Troop 18 will read some recognitions that our awardee has received. From John Fetterman. Dear Joshua, congratulations on achieving the rank of Eagle Scout, the highest honor that a Boy Scout can attain. This remarkable accomplishment is a testament to your leadership skills, perseverance, and devotion to your community. As an Eagle Scout, you have demonstrated your commitment to the core values of scouting, such as honesty, respect, responsibility, and service to others. These principles will serve you well in your future endeavors, and I have every confidence that you will continue to make a positive impact on your community and beyond. Thank you for your service. Sincerely, John Fetterman. This is from Robert B. Casey, P. Casey, Jr. Um, dear Joshua, it gives me great ple pleasure to join your family and friends in congratulating you on the occasion of receiving the Eagle Scout Award, the highest award a Boy Scout can achieve. This accomplishment signifies many years of hard work, leadership, and devotion to the to community in Northeast Philadelphia. I know your family and the entire team at Troop 18 BSA of Cradle of the Cradle, Cradle Liberty Council are very proud of you. I commend you on this outstanding honor and know you will continue in this fine tradition of service in the years ahead. Sincerely, Robert P. Casey, Jr., UN, United States Senator. <clears throat> From the, uh, the governor, greetings, Joshua Abraham. I'm honored to congratulate you on the achievement of earning your Eagle Scout Award. Pennsylvania has a rich history of remarkable individuals who have made noteworthy contributions to our great commonwealth. 
Your acceptance to this elite group of young people is a sign of your fine character, outstanding values, and aptitude in many skills. It is a great achievement, and you and your family, friends, and fellow scouts should be proud of your accomplishments. The Commonwealth is privileged to have you as a representative of our values and traditions. As governor, I am pleased to recognize you for this wonderful achievement. I hope the ideals and obligations you learned by earning this award will continue to serve you in the future. Please accept my best wishes for the continued success. Josh Shapiro. Dear Joshua, on behalf of the residents of Pennsylvania's second congressional district, I would like to offer my congratulations to you on your recent achievements of the rank of Eagle Scout. Your, rev your renovation of the hockey rink at Fox Chase Recreation Center will be one of the great benefit to the community, and it has demonstrated your qualifications for the rank. I'm sure I join your friends and family in celebrating this district honor. As a member of the United States House of Representatives, I am always pleased to support organizations that work to build up the character of our youth. Since its founding in 1910, the Boy Scouts of America have been a positive influence on the lives of millions of Americans that have been affiliated with the organization in various roles. In attaining the rank of Eagle Scout, you have joined a long list of famous and successful Americans to reach the pinnacle of scouting. Today is the result of years of commitment and a tremendous amount of hard work, and you should take great pride in not only your achievement, but also the good work you have done along the way to help others in your community. Sincerely, Brennan F. Boyle, member of Congress. Dear Mr. Abraham, congratulations on reaching the rank of Eagle Scout. The discipline, determination, and work ethic to attain, needed to attain such recognition points to a very bright future. Good luck and enjoy your special day. Warm regards, Kevin M. Doherty. That was from the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. Thanks, guys. Now, our new Eagle Scout, Josh Abraham, would like to say a few words. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, scouts, scout leader, fam scout leader families, friends, and all dis distinguished guests. Tonight, I stand before you with a heart full of gratitude and appreciation as we gather to celebrate my Eagle Court of Honor. This occasion is a representation of not only my own dedication and hard work, but the steadfast support of individuals such as yourselves. I am truly humbled by your presence. As I stand here feeling reminiscent of all my past experiences, I can truly say that being a part of Scouts has changed my life. I would have ne never thought in my wildest dreams that I would find camping, hiking, fishing, community service, and even leading as enjoying as I do now. Furthermore, my long association with Scouting has permanently changed my character. It has taught me the importance of integrity and kindness. It has shown me the need for ambition and bravery in striving for goals that may seem daunting. It has taught me that the best way to lead is by example and with humility. Now, if you told 11-year-old me that I would change this much, I would probably would have called you crazy. This is because when I was first introduced to scoutings, scouting, all I wanted to do was run away. My first experience of scouting was at, at Josh's house, who, who, as you heard, was a Troop 18 alumni and an Eagle Scout. And, and I was there to go through a trial run. Basically, I was to join them in the middle of their camping trip and act as a scout so I would get an idea of what scouting is about. At first, I would say that, that I was enjoying myself. Not only did the idea of camping appeal to me at the time, but everyone in Troop 18 was welcoming. In fact, Josh even had a, a small pet turtle that he kept in a bucket, which I thought was super cool at the time. However, I started feeling disheartened when we actually did troop activities. For one, let me just say that I was an extremely picky eater at the age of 11, so I did not like any of the camp food we ate. Furthermore, since I was not as physically active as everyone else, I often fell behind during the more physical task. 
I think the worst experience from that time was when all of us went on a hike alongside the river near Josh's house. The hike was already rough by itself since I had no hiking gear, but then it started to rain. The ground got muddy and the rocks on which I was stepping on got slippery. This led to me slipping and falling at every possible moment. By the end of the, end of the trip, my shoes were effectively soaked and my mood ruined. I think at the time that I wanted to quit then and there, but despite all these things, I didn't. Now, I'm not sure of the exact reason at the time, but I believe that, that the reason that I continued in Troop 18 was because of the support of my older scouts. Even when I was, a, even when I was falling behind, the scouts in Troop 18 did not get mad at me, nor, nor insulted me. They treated me as friends, despite only knowing me for a couple of hours. And I think that's the reason why I came back. From there, I worked hard to advance through the ranks. As I, start, as I got older and started thinking about getting Eagle, I went to NYLT to learn leadership skills and understand what qualities a leader, need, a leader needs to provide a fun experience for everyone. Afterwards, I would later become senior patrol leader of Troop 18, which is one of the highest leadership positions in the troop. Despite my leadership responsibilities, I still worked hard to advance through the ranks. Eventually, I was able to work with Fox Chase Recreational Center and help re repair their hockey rink. Effectively, effectively solidifying my rank as an Eagle Scout. I think my favorite part about scouting is that there's no auditions, no pre-existing requirements, or, or pre-existing things needed to become a scout. Anyone can join scouts. Anyone with enough hard work and dedication can become an Eagle Scout. With that being said, I just want to take some time to acknowledge all the parties that helped me on my journey to Eagle. Now, there's quite a lot here, so I ask that you all bear with me for the next couple of minutes. First and fo foremost, I would like to thank Pastor James and the rest of the board for letting me use this, this space for the ceremony. Although, although we didn't go to your church, you still, you still let us use this space, so I, I exceedingly thank you for letting us do this. Um, I would also like to acknowledge my family. I would like to thank my mom for being a pillar of support when things got difficult and a voice of reason whenever I felt confused or conflicted. Furthermore, she also was the main contributor to the ceremony, so truly, I thank you, Mom. <laughs> I, I would like to thank my older brother, Jacob, for being a role model that I can follow. I could always trust him to have my back, even when it would be detrim detrimental to him. Trust me when I say that you will never find someone as stubbornly kind as he is. So truly, Jacob, thank you for being there. I would like to thank my younger brother, Benjamin, for being just the way he is. <laughs> Although he can be mischievous at times, ben, ben is someone who can brighten up your day just by being there. Um, as you all can see, well, I'm not sure if you all saw him yet, but he's also a scout. Just like the way the, old, the older scouts before me supported me, I would also like to support him as he goes on this journey to Eagle. So truly, Ben, thank you for being there. <laughs> but last, but, not, but certainly not least, I would like to thank my dad. From day one, he has been my number one supporter, from taking me to scout meetings, to going on camping trips, to, to working side by side with me on my Eagle project. He has been, he has been with me every step of the way. And I am so grateful to have someone like you as my father. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. <laughs> to my fellow scouts, you've been more than just friends and companions on this journey. Together, we worked through challenges, reached new heights, and made unforgettable memories. Like how iron sharpened iron. We all worked with each other to become the responsible and compassionate and capable young individuals that we are today. Truly, I thank you for being by my side and pushing me past my limits. Thank you. <laughs> to, the older, to the older scouts, the Troop 18 alumni who have graduated from Troop 18, I would like to thank you for guiding me and making Troop 18 a fun experience back when I was still a kid. I based most of my leadership skills on what you all taught me because you all made scouting fun. Thank you all, truly. Um, to all the volunteers, and there was a lot, 
Um, it was way more than I expected to my fa to my family, to to um, La La Uncle and family, Ruth, Rachel, um, Becky, to to Stephen and his family. There's just there's so many I can mention, and uh, I'm sorry I, I'm sorry if I missed you, but I would also like to thank the donors. Um, the, they're donors who donated to my Ego Project. Your contributions have made a lasting impact on my journey. Whether it was through your generous donations, the time you spent assisting me with my Ego Project, or simply being present here tonight, you have all played an invaluable role in helping me achieve this honor. Thank you. Um, to all the guests gathered here today, your presence filled me with an overwhelming sense of joy and gratitude. Seeing you all here reminded me of the impact scouting has on our community, and I am proud to be a representative of, the, of this incredible organization. Thank you all for coming here. Now, I would like to thank the scout. The, now, I'd like to thank the scout leaders and mentors who have devoted their time and energy to Troop 18. Your example has had a profound effect on my leadership, and I, and I am eternally grateful for all that you've done. Now, to show my gratitude, I would like to take the time to present some mentor pins. Um, these mentor pins are a small token of my appreciation that I would like to award to certain individuals who have sacrificed their, their time and energy to support me both as a scout and as a person. Um, so with that being said, I would like to present this first mentor, mentor pin to a parent who, despite having little experience in scouting in general, took up, took up the position of scoutmaster when no one else would. Who, during COVID-19, when a lot of troops collapsed, who worked, who worked alongside with me to keep the troop together. I would like to present this mentor pin to, to Susanna Hamza. I would like to present this next mentor pin to another person who kept the troop together during COVID-19. During my tenure as senior patrol leader, she was a person who helped organize many of the troop's events. Without her, I do not believe the troop would have run as efficiently as it did. I would like to present this mentor pin to Jeannie Connor. Now, this next mentor pin goes to the person who guided me throughout my whole scouting career. Whenever I felt anxious about a certain matter, I can always depend on this person's wisdom to put me in the right direction. Even when they took a step back from the troop, they were still helping older scouts like me on their path to Eagle. If there was one more thing I could say about this person is that I would never want them to come on a camping trip because whenever they would come, there would always be a guaranteed chance of rain. I would like to present this mentor pin to Michael Gilman. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, I would like to present this last mentor pin to the first adult leader I met in Troop 18 during a trial run that I mentioned before. This person taught me many of the early skills that are needed to advance through the ranks, from tying knots to orienteering to finding constellations to using a knife safely. This person was a fountain of knowledge that I learned a lot from. Despite his personal commitments and busy schedules, he takes the time to come to every meeting and every camping trip, spreading his positive energy to everyone, everyone there. Not only that, this person was the one that made me feel the most welcome when I first joined the troop because they always had a smile on their face. I would like to present this last mentor pin to Bill Letts. Oh, sorry. There's actually one more mentor pin I, I, I have to give. I would like to present this last mentor pin to the person who pushed me ever since I became a scout. When I had my first experience with SBL, this person reminded me of the duties that I had to both the troop and to my fellow scouts, who, in my earliest memories, taught me about what responsibility is. I would like to present this mentor pin to Jerry Lopez.
As I stand here with the Eagle Scout badge in hand, I am reminded of the responsibility that comes with this honor. It is now my duty to live up to the values of scouting and to re represent those values in my daily life. Thank you for listening to me today. That was a very thirsty speech. You should look for a can of Coke. Now, Josh's grandfather, Chaco, and Josh's parents would like to say a few words. Good evening, all guests. We introduce ourselves, Mrs. and Mr. Chaco Balivadakal, then parents of Joshua Abraham. Joshua is very intelligent and hardworking, and uh, he has no hesitate to do any work. He is very efficient. He has achieved, I mean, Eagle Scout. We appreciate him. We, we wish you all the best. May God bless him. Good evening, everyone. I don't know I want to add anything more, everything about Josh and everyone say already. Um, dear state representative, councilmen, scout leaders, fellow scout, family, and friends. We are so honored to be here today to celebrate Josh's incredible achievement of a Cayman Eagle Scout. This is a remarkable occasion, and I would like to take a moment to express our heartfelt congratulations to Josh. Throughout Josh's journey in scouting, we have had a privilege to watch him grow and develop into an amazing young adult as he is today. After Josh joined scouting, I also joined as an assistant scoutmaster in the troop. Scouting became our part of our life. Over these years, he has demonstrated unwavering dedication, determination, and a commitment to serve the community. We are truly proud of all that he has accomplished and are grateful for the wonderful experience and memories that scouting has provided him. For example, how to survive extreme weather, first aid CPR, camping, leadership skill, and most importantly, a good citizen. As a parent, we have seen firsthand how scouting has positively influenced Josh's life. The value of the Boy Scout of America, including duty to God and country, service to others, and moral and ethical leadership have instilled in him a sense of purpose and direction. Lesson that he has learned the scouting will stay with him a lifetime. And we have no doubt that he will use these skills to make a positive impact on his community and beyond. To Josh, we want to say how proud we are today. Your hard work and dedication have paid off. And we know that you will continue to achieve great things in the future. You are truly an inspiration to us, and we love you more than words can express. At this time, we want to present a Please come forward, Joshua. We want to present a journey to Eagle Pride. This is all the murder bag he got and he made it up. In conclusion, we want to thank everyone who has played a part of Josh journey in scouting. First of all, we want to thank Almighty God enabled to come this far. Scout masters, troop leaders, fellow scouts, family and friends, your support has been crucial. We are honored to be here to be part of this wonderful community and I look forward to seeing all that Josh will accomplish in years to come. At this time, we want to thank everyone who took their time to celebrate with us. We want to extend our 
thanks to this church, Pastor Jane John and uh, board members to allow this use this facility. Thank you very much. Also, I want to say one more thing. I want to uh, extend my thanks to uh, Sandra Thangala family. They are the one introduced us to scouting. So I really thank you and appreciate it with that too. Josh, come on up. Got a lot of exercise today. Yeah, stand on this side. If you notice the uh, green troop neckerchief that a lot of the guys were wearing, you may see that Troop 18 was chartered in 1927. This is our 96th year of continuous existence. In all of those years, and among all of those hundreds of scouts that called Troop 18 home, very, very few became Eagle Scouts. Why do scouts become Eagle? Not because it's easy, because it's hard. An Eagle is very, very special. And Josh, I want you to know how very proud of you I am. That even though it was challenging, you stuck with it. And you've heard that Josh had an Eagle project, you know, which is the culmination uh, job that you need to get to become an Eagle of you know, rehabbing the Fox Chase hockey rink. What most people don't know is that he planned two Eagle projects. The one before that you know, after, uh, actually got canceled with that, and that wasn't under his control. So he had to start fresh and he did a second one, which you know, is really, really amazing. It's been a tradition since I was Scoutmaster, and it's our pleasure for, for my wife Beth and I to make this one last presentation. On behalf of Troop 18 BSA, I am honored to present to Joshua Abraham, on the occasion of his Eagle Court of Honor, this American flag that was flown over the U.S. Capitol building in Washington, D.C. When you fly this flag as a proud American citizen, may it remind you of the ideals and skills that you gained as a member of the Boy Scouts of America. Thank you. Almost done. At this time, I would like to introduce the Scoutmaster of our female unit, Jeannie Connor, to give the Scoutmaster's Minute. Good evening, Josh. Sorry, my voice is a little bit. <laughs> Good evening, Josh, his family, friends, scouts, scout leaders, and dignitaries. Today, I'm going to do the Scoutmaster Minute, and for those who don't know what a Scoutmaster Minute is, it's basically a teachable moment that we do at the end of our meetings to our scouts, and it usually should be short, <laughs> but mine's not going to be as short, and I'm going to be my authentic self. Uh, an authentic self, I'm going to be a leader, and you will see as this speech progresses what that means. So as I was sitting in a cafe in a local restaurant in the area that decorates with lots of books, I came across a book that said, entitled, The Leader who had no title by Robin Sharma, who is an advisor and organizational and personal leader um, who has worked with um, Fortune 500 companies. So why would I bring about that title when we're celebrating actually a very honorable title today of Eagle Scout? Well, first of all, Josh had to start out somewhere. So Josh came on with no titles, and even with the small titles and the ranks that we give at Scouts, we can also look at it as maybe, even maybe no title, but maybe a small title. And through that, he exemplified humbleness and kindness, as they said. Also, Josh played a role, different roles in his life, not just Eagle Scout, not just being a Scout but being a, school, you know, a student. So in that role, he may not be, been, he doesn't have a title in that role. 
He's just known as the student or even his household. And in this moment, I need to actually teach you as well. So where do you stand? Maybe you have, you have some title, maybe you don't. So, so what does a leader without a title or small titles mean? Like we all play different roles in our life. And even as Josh moves on, he's gonna to go to college, he's gonna be in the workforce, and he's got to start out somewhere, he's not gonna have a title. So I was inspired by this and fascinated. And just to even digress a little bit, even being a leader is always being vigilant. So I was vigilant at looking and looking around and picking up different inspirational thoughts as well. So this book basically was based on a conversation that a business, businessman had with a housekeeper. So we don't look as a housekeeper as having a major title, but she actually made the best of her job. And she actually brought a lot of light and a lot of humbleness and brought leadership to her job that people remembered her. So, so this also, so basically a little um, speech that Martin Luther King actually said is, if a man is called to be a street sweeper, he should sweep streets even as Michelangelo painted, or Beethoven composed music, or Shakespeare wrote poetry. He should sweep streets so well that all the hosts of heaven and earth will pause to say, here lived a great street sweeper who did his job well. So it makes it all work is meaningful. And at the same time, whatever goals in our life we're pursuing, we're fulfilling. And as simple as said as anyone, and anyone can be a leader in whatever they do or whatever path they take. So during this teachable moment, I came upon a word, an acronym, that since we text, I think we all can remember, and that's the word image. If we all remember this word image, we can remember to be a leader in whatever we do. So the first word is I, and that's innovation. Let us be creative, let the juices flow. So you take that, that housekeeper, and maybe, you know, how they make little, like, designs out of the towels. Maybe just doing something like that. And that makes her stand out. Helping somebody in scouts, just taking the time just to show, you know, a scout something. Take the, 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 um, the older scouts. Taking the time just to go out of their way to help them. Be a visionary. Reinvent things. Improve. Wake up each day with the intent to just do a little better a little better at school, a little better at work. So the key is to dream big, but start small. Small steps big lead to big results. Daily ripples in a pool of superior performances add up over time to a tidal wave of outrageous successes. Then we have M for mastery. So master what you do, whatever it is, whether you're a housekeeper, whether you're um, the street sweeper, whether you're on scouts, whether you're that just that, that um, the scout just coming on as this first year tenderfoot. Be so good that people can't ignore you. Give nothing but your very best. Be the best in the world. Set high standards for yourself, no matter what it is. Be extraordinary in your work. And that will bring you happiness and bring other people happiness. Be prideful. Be pr take pride in what you feel. And take pride and feel good. And give me, it will give you meaning and purpose. You will be happy, but you'll also be making the world a better place, just as Josh, did, Josh does. 
we have A is authenticity. Be true to who you are when everyone around you wants you to be someone else. Take the courage to be yourself. Authenticity ties into also our scout law, trustworthy and brave. It takes a lot of bravery and courage to be who you are. Be who you are and be that well. And that's something that St. Francis de Sales said. Be who you are and say what you feel because those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind from Dr. Seuss. Being yourself will allow you to be more open, will open up doors of opportunities for you and for others. And being yourself, if you believe in God, bring that to the table, bring it to your, bring to whatever it is. Bring you know, our faith, the faith out there. Don't be afraid to wear your uniform around even when you're not at a scouting event. Be who you are, that's a leader. Have the guts. You might not have a title, but you need huge toughness, toughness and lots of guts. You have to take risks and not be afraid to fail or have setbacks or afraid of the competition out there. Back, get back up when you fail. Learn from your failure and your setbacks. This will make you a stronger person. We learn determination and focus when we fail. Failure also teaches us flexibility, adaptability, and overcomes our um, obstacles. And we have E, and that's ethics like good manners, and that pretty much exemplifies what the scout law is about. Be honest, highly dependable, staying on time, and treating the people the way we want to be treated. These things, when we do this in our job, at school, in our home, in scouts, we may not have that title, and then, but we can always work towards the title too, of course, and that's what you know, Josh did. And he started out just being the scout and moving up. And through all that, he, he exemplified what all the, the image, the image. And his scouts, his younger scouts looked up to him. And then he actually now did get the title of Eagle Scout. So take that in all you do, because just as the candles we light here, they are the light, the scouts are the light, you are the light. And if we want to have this wonderful kindness in the world, that's where it all starts. And it starts from just doing the smallest things, just in our jobs that maybe we don't have any recognition. It starts from the smallest things. We are, we have to be the light of the world. And take all this, take these um, examples and this word image and take it out and take it to the smallest places and then make it big. And people will see you, and we can make a difference. So just like Josh, with his humbleness and his kindness, be the image, be the light of the world, and be the leader without no title. And take it on and be, make the world a better place. <laughs> Thank you, Scoutmaster Connor. What's it worth? The Eagle Badge. The highest rank a scout can earn. What's it worth? Well, in dollars and cents, it's worth about $20.50. Probably six and a half dollars in silver, 25 cents worth of ribbon, and the rest of it in manufacturing and handling costs. But Josh, what's it really worth to you? Think back to the time when you first became a scout. Remember the scout skills that you learned for each rank and the rededication to the scout oath and law each time you advanced? Think of the service that you have given to your troop and to other people. Is your Eagle Badge worth $20.50? Of course not. Your Eagle Badge is priceless. It represents everything that you have learned, everything that you have done to be prepared, to help others, and to help yourself. So now you stand on the peak of the mountain. 
an Eagle Scout. Now look ahead, look sharp. Way out there in the mist is another mountain. And there below is a trail to your future. It may be a long trail or a short one, but it leads to that mountain far away. As you walk down the trail and as the years roll by and finally reach the end, we all hope that you can look back on the trail of life and be able to and proud to say, I have done my best. By the power invested in me by the National Council of the Boy Scouts of America, I declare this court of honor closed. Mr. Senior Patrol Leader, please retire the colors. All can please rise. I would invite all Eagle Scouts past and present to come forward to greet our new Eagle Scout. All are invited for some light refreshments at the back of the room. Thank you all for coming. I have some uh, housekeeping uh, announcement. Um, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Cherian. I'm Josh's uncle. Uh, if you're wondering, uh, uh, Josh, uh, that, I'm the uncle whose house Josh took the unauthorized sword again. So the sword again belongs to me. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I'd like to congratulate uh, Josh for being uh, becoming an Eagle Scout. It's a great accomplishment and it shows his commitment and determination to become an Eagle Scout. Along with his faith, I believe joining the Boy Scout has tremendously helped him to become successful in every aspect of his life. And uh, if you look at Josh, his demeanor, he has a very pleasant demeanor, and uh, he has a great work ethic, and he's a, he's a great, uh, he has some great set of leadership uh, skills, so I really, Thankful that he joined the Boy Scout. And I also want to congratulate his parents uh, for being so um, uh, helpful to him to achieve this great honor. Uh, we are all so happy. As the Abraham family, we are so happy for you, and we are very proud of you. May God continue to bless you in every, uh, every aspect of your life. Uh, I do also want to, um, at this time, we're going to pray for the food, uh, Pastor uh, James will come forward and pray for the food. I just wanted to make sure there's uh, two um, uh, tables we set up for the food. Table number one will have American food, and the other table will have Indian food. Uh, may I, you can help yourself. Uh, we'll be uh, serving food there. And uh, also, if you want to say congratulations uh, during the uh, reception, you can come up here and say the congratulations. And uh, thank you again. Uh, wanna, once more time, I want to congratulate uh, Josh. May God bless you. Yes, congratulations, Josh. We are so proud of you, the family, the friends, all the church people, all, the, all those who are here. We are, we are so honored and blessed. And congratulations to the family as well. Let's bow our heads to pray and bless the food. <clears throat> Father, we just thank you for all the good things that you have bestowed in our lives. Especially thank you for Josh and all the scouts that are here that and all the team whether it's family friends church members and all the loved ones that have gathered here we bless each one in your holy name and we ask your blessing upon the food and the fellowship that we are about to receive we ask that you would bless the time that we're going to spend here as well we also at this time remember those who don't have um, any means to eat or have a dinner. We pray that you'll help us at opportunities that you will provide for us to help such that we will be able to do it without hesitation because of your grace. You are the one who gives food to all creatures, and we ask that you would provide with abundance, and may your provisions continue to bless the Abraham family, bless the people that are gathered here, all the pastors that are here, all the men of God, all the uh, loved ones in their family. We pray that you will shower your blessing upon the scouts, and as they aspire to take the next challenge, that your grace and your wisdom and your guidance will be with them as well. 
We are careful to give you all glory, honor, and praise. Thank you for hearing our prayers. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.